I have had a ton of use out of this one, but it's getting old, rusty, and dull. I could just buy a new one, but as you know, there is something fancy about having a Japanese pull saw, especially if you are a woodworker. And in fact, quite often, it means that you actually need to have one in order for you to actually turn into a real manly or femanly woodworker. Well, not that long ago, I made some tabletop extensions for my mom's dining table, and I made it out of beech wood, and now I have this leftover piece of beech wood. Now, originally, I thought about making the saw handle out of mahogany, but I kind of like the look of the beech wood, and also because it's kind of have the shape of a handle, so it's quite easy, and easy is quite good. Thinking about how I wanted the handle, I ended up with something like a 50-50 on the handle to blade ratio. And I don't mind the long handles, they usually have long handles, but I kind of like them and prefer them to be a bit shorter. And that sounds like something someone else would say in another context. Anyway, as everything was looking like it was going in the right direction, I decided that now would be a good time to shake things up a bit and drill all the way through. Because apparently, if you drill through, then you have nowhere to put the center of your drill. Off to the scrap pile we go and pick up a piece of plywood, drill a hole through it and put it where the recess hole should go. I put the screw in, tightened it, just to see the amount of friction it would make, only to notice that it was next to nothing. I realized that I needed to insert a piece of wood to keep the saw blade in place. So I cut a tiny piece of mahogany. Of course I had to do the mandatory use your hand to brush off your bench just in case there is a piece of metal that can go cut you up from the inside trick. Anyway, I drilled a hole in the handle and cleaned out the rest of it with a chisel so I could end up with this square fitting mahogany hole in the handle. The thing about the Ryoba saw or the Japanese pull saw as we know it, or actually not as we know it, as I know it, uh, some people call it the flush saw or a trim saw, Anyway, the thing is that it has these two blade patterns, one on each side, and one is for cross-cutting, like across the grain, and the other one is for rip-cutting with the grain. And you can remember which blade goes where by imagining a normal board of wood. It's usually longer than it's wide, since the anatomy of trees, they usually grow taller than they grow wide. Anyways, the big teeth on the saw blade goes on the big side, like the long side, and the small teeth go on the short side, across the grain. Enough with the storytelling. You've been watching me shape the handle with a rounded spoke shape, and not everyone has one. But it could be made with a lot of other tools, I assume, like a, a knife, a file, rasp, sandpaper, axe, I don't know, a lot of stuff. Well, it required a lot of sanding. And I gave it a spray coat in the end, just to harden it and make it more durable. But in total, a quick project, a nice project. So this is the end. I had a ton of fun making this one. I hope I'll use it a lot in the future. The saw, of course. And uh, this was my first video. Hopefully not my last one. Since this was a lot of fun. It was nice. It's, it's like a dream. And hopefully it's a dream that will come true. So, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time. So, bye.